All right, so I'm actually working on my first two-piece head project. And it's been long and slow and tedious, but I'm going to bring you guys up to speed on this. It might be a little while till I get it done. I got to figure some things out here, but we're nearing the end, the final stages of trying to figure out uh, the, the assembly of it um, as far as sealing and stuff. That's where I'm at. But I took some video of the process. Uh, there's no talking on any of this, so you're just going to get to watch some video of the process and then I'll bring you in to where I currently am right now. Alrighty.
All right, so this is where I'm currently at. There's the piston. I cut a taper into the piston to match the combustion chamber. So this is the combustion chamber. Um, this is technically a two-piece head. The combustion chamber is separate from the rest. And that allows me to set it up to where I can interchange combustion chambers, change the compression ratios as I want. You know what I mean? So that's kind of one of the, I guess you could say positive notes on this, but I gotta figure out how to seal all this. Get gaskets or O-rings probably, figure out what O-rings I need to get this done. But there's the piston and you can imagine she kinda, the combustion chamber part kinda sits on there and I got them cut and matched and everything. Here's our cylinder. That's the bottom half. I have been cleaning it up, getting it ready to go. This is actually the second combustion chamber on this saw, or the second cylinder. Um, this is the one Bodhi sent me. Bodhi sent me a cylinder that I can use for this saw. So I figured, you know, the first one I used was a bit scored up, and I wanted to see if some transfer work would bring the performance up, and it didn't work. Um, ended up being a turd. So I started over with this cylinder and we're going to do it as a two piece or three piece head type of setup. Here's what she currently looks like. I got to figure out a way to get it to seal though. So here's what she's going to look like with the combustion chamber on it. Let me get her lined up here for you. There we go. So that's what she's going to look like with the new combustion chamber setup. And if I flip this over, you'll see how she seats on there. This guy just kind of rests on top. And this guy just kind of sets on top of all of that. And then I bolt it together. Now, let me figure it out. That's the wrong way. Wrong way. Is it this way? I think it's that way. No. All right, so that's basically how she's going to sit on there. Um, that's because these two holes line up. These two holes need elongated towards the outside a little bit to get them to line up. But that's it. That's kind of what she's going to be like in the end. Let me put it on the saw so you can kind of get a better idea. So there's what she's going to look like. As you can see, I rotate it around. And as far as squish, uh, I don't know. I don't have a way to bolt it together yet. So what I did is I took my caliper here and I'm using the depth gauge side. And I just kind of set it on there like so. Then I rotate the flywheel until she hits. She pushes it up through top dead center. And then that's the number I got. So probably not 100% accurate. It's sitting at like 22 thousandths. Um, probably not 100% accurate, but that's how I did it. Cause you know, that's just what I did. I'll double check it as I put it together and I'll make adjustments as needed. But that guy will go on there like so. I still need to get the spark plug for this. This is a, what do they call that? A 10 millimeter spark plug. Still need to get one of those. I don't have one. And then this guy will fit on there like so. So there she is. That's what we're going for. So, yeah. Uh, this is gonna be a project. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to finish. You know what I mean? I still need to get a way to bolt it together. I still need to figure out the O-ring setup. I gotta figure out something for that. You know what I mean? But that's where she's currently sitting. A uh, little project I've been messing on. I've been playing with this off and on for probably a month or so. Um, Bodhi sent me a cylinder and I figured, I don't know, I wanted to try some weird stuff with the old cylinder. I managed to clean it up enough that I, it would run, but I wanted to see how you know the transfer idea would work. 
because once I did it, it was one of those things that you couldn't undo. And I tried it and it ended up being a turd. So at least now I know not to do that. And now we're gonna try Bodie's cylinder here and see if we can get her going. And there we go. Charlie Briscoe sent me the piston and Bodie sent me the cylinder. Uh, if they wouldn't have sent me those parts, I don't know if I would have done this project. So thanks to those guys. But we're working on it. We'll get there eventually. I might have to do, figure out something to change out the coil and all that stuff. Um, figure out some sort of a coil modification. Might need to do the flywheel and everything. We'll see how this goes. So. Uh, the really high exhaust roofs can really cause you to lose a lot of torque because of all the loss and compression and everything. And this two-piece two head, or should I say three-piece head, should allow me to purchase more of these guys and play with these to figure out how big of a combustion chamber I need for it to work out just right. So, yeah, this is going to be one of those projects I'm playing with for a long time. So there you go. Not really the most entertaining video, but I thought you guys might be interested in this little two-piece, three-piece head setup, whatever thing, jiggy I'm, I got going on here. First time doing this, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of trial and error. Alrighty, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.